Great. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, today's webinar, as you know, is all about the Postalytics software launch in Canada. Uh, and uh, we're now live and uh, ready to uh, begin processing. We've already actually processed our first uh, Canadian campaign. Uh, and so uh, we're really excited to speak with you today. Uh, I'm Dennis Kelly. I'm the CEO of Postalytics. And I'm joined today by Steve Falk, who is the president of Prime Data in Canada. Uh, Prime Data is our print partner uh, upon launch here. Uh, Steve, why don't you say hi to our audience? Hi, everyone. Great to be speaking to you here from just north of Toronto, Canada. Great. So uh, for today's agenda, uh, we're going to be focused on uh, just a quick half hour uh, we're going to talk about why this is a big deal, uh, you know, why we're, we brought Postalytics to Canada. Uh, we're going to give an overview of how it all works and, and what's different about the Canadian offering uh, in, uh, within Postalytics, uh, and, and, and then have some time for questions at the end. So just as a, as a quick starter, uh, Postalytics is a direct mail automation software tool. Uh, we're, we're a cloud-based software-as-a-service platform, uh, and, and we've built a network of print and mail partners uh, that uh, are responsible for uh, taking the, the campaigns that marketers generate, uh, uh, addressing them, printing them, dropping them in their respective countries' postal systems, and uh, all of the complexity and difficulty associated with traditional direct mail is, is taken away by the software. The software is doing all the heavy lifting. And so we've really built this software to uh, help marketers leverage the power of direct mail to drive better results out of their campaigns. And, and uh, what we have done really is created all new use cases for direct mail uh, as a result, and we'll talk about why that is in just a sec. So our, our focus with Postalytics is, is really to tackle uh, these three really big problems that we see with traditional or legacy-based direct mail. And, and the first is speed. Uh, it takes on average four to six weeks for a marketing team to pull together a traditional direct mail campaign. When you compare that to uh, the effort that goes into creating an email marketing campaign, it's night and day. Email marketers can rip campaigns together in minutes and send them out. And so we've designed Postalytics to look and act and feel like an email marketing tool so that marketers are able to very quickly, within minutes, generate high quality, 100% personalized variable data print direct mail campaigns. Secondly, integration. Traditional direct mail has been a, a very effective channel for marketers. Uh, and, but like we said, it takes a long time to get these campaigns pulled together. Lots of project management, lots of work, but almost as importantly, the data that is involved in those direct mail campaigns is sitting in spreadsheets and files that's being emailed around. Well, that, that's the only channel that marketers are using today where that is the case. And so everybody's investing in CRM and marketing automation tools, and they're the foundation of all of the other marketing programs that marketers engage in. And so we created Postalytics to plug into those tools and just be another channel that is easily managed and fully integrated with the core CRM and marketing automation tools that most organizations have invested in. And then finally, analytics. The other thing that marketers continually tell us uh, when they are sending traditional direct mail is they have no idea what happened after they sent. They're just waiting for the phone to ring. They're waiting for return address cards coming to come back to find out that they've got, you know, bad addresses. And so Postalytics is designed to provide deep analytics regarding what happens after you send. 
What's happening at the print partner? When is it getting in the mail? What is it expected to arrive? Who's responding? All of this rich data is available natively in Postalytics, and we're able to sync it back into those core tools that are used to coordinate multi-channel campaigns and, and to manage uh, uh, modern marketing programs. So, you know, essentially in, in, in the big picture, uh, we've integrated direct mail into the whole marketing tech stack so that it works alongside all the other tools that modern marketers are using. So why did we create a, a Canadian version of Postalytics? Well, there, there are three big reasons. Uh, first, we heard from a lot of customers uh, from the very beginning. Uh, we, we, when we launched Postalytics uh, in, at the HubSpot inbound conference in September of 2017, we bought a booth and, and started, you know, promoting this idea of direct mail automation. And we had people stopping by the booth that were from Canada. And they said, hey, uh, can we do this uh, where we are? And we said, no, no, sorry. You know, this is a US only thing. Uh, and they said, well, you know, sign me up. Let me know when you're coming. And then we started hearing more and more and more over time. And, and so uh, Canadian marketers uh, really uh, have, have been asking and demanding that we bring Postalytics to Canada. So now at this point, we have 100 companies uh, that uh, have asked for us to bring Postalytics uh, to their marketing programs. The other group of people uh, who have been driving uh, demand from us are US companies that have Canadian customers and Canadian audiences. And so we have current companies, uh, current customers that are sending a lot of direct mail through Postalytics in the United States. And then they have to have another program and a whole nother set of relationships with print partners. They do things the traditional way in Canada. And so our current US customers have been saying, hey guys, you gotta get this out in Canada. We want to consolidate and do this all in one way. So that's the first reason customer demand has driven this. Secondly, we've been very fortunate to develop a great partnership with Canada Post. And, you know, I, I can't say enough about uh, how uh, the Canada Post team has reached out to us and, and said, hey guys, we want to bring you to Canada. We want to make this happen. What do we got to do? And so we work very closely with the Canada Post team to uh, define a Canadian offering that would make sense, that would appeal to uh, marketers that are either currently generating direct mail in Canada or would love to if it was easy and fast. And uh, and so the Canada folk, Post folks have really held our hand through this entire process. And as a matter of fact, they introduced us to our first Canadian print partner. And, and so prime data in Canada is the third reason why this has happened. Uh, so uh, we, we've been working with prime data now for several months and we've been working really hard with their software team. We've been testing, we've been working back and forth and making this thing rock solid. And so uh, the folks from Prime Data have been a pleasure to work with. Uh, as we said, Canada Post really helped to uh, make this introduction. They've got a great longstanding relationship. And then one of the other unique things is that they've worked with a lot of US firms that send mail in Canada. And so they really have an understanding of kind of where our heads are coming from and how we built Postalytics to serve the US market first. They really help to make us uh, it, make it easy to translate what we're doing in the Canadian market. And, and so, with that, uh, I want to hand it over to Steve Falk for just a, a minute. And Steve, tell us about Prime Data and, uh, and and what you're doing up there in Canada to help make this happen. Well, thank you very much. That great a great introduction. I feel with that nice map, we should maybe play the national anthem or something before we drop the puck on this. <laughs> okay. but I didn't. I can't cue it up right that quickly. But but great description of why why you 
have built Postalytics and how you're addressing so many needs of the marketing community. And it's uh, I'm speaking on behalf of all of us at, at Prime Data to say how pleased we are to be your partner in Canada to help bring this to the Canadian marketplace. Uh, it's it, It's been an enjoyable few months getting this built up and it was fun to see those first uh, jobs queue up as we launched this week. So uh, thank you for making us part of this and uh, uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled. We're really excited about what this is going to bring for people to bring that kind of easy speed to market direct mail, something we've been big advocates of, of. for years now. We've, we've tried to build uh, our postal production systems to be able to respond within hours of receiving uh, mail data and uh, put stuff into the Canadian postal system really quickly. So it's a great fit, Dennis, to be working with your team on this. Well, thanks, Steve. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about the background of Prime Data and uh, how you guys have grown and evolved over the years? Well, the uh, uh, you know over the last ten years or so, uh, you know we we've grown from three people who were just data hacks uh, to we're about thirty five or forty right now uh, with a, a production facility that that does millions of pieces of mail a month. Uh, and what we wanted to do is take our, our data sa savvy group and take all the skills that they knew about moving things quickly through automated systems and then apply it to the production of print. So we've invested in really high speed printing equipment and uh, all the automation tools to do that. And we've also become big partners with postal systems like Canada Post. And, uh, you know, we've won a number of awards from them over that decade for uh, growth and for innovation where we're putting these kinds of software solutions together for clients like Postalytics to get mail out really quickly. And um, so we've been, we're, we're members of something called the National Association of Major Mail Users, which has, uh, you know, the most active uh, and shall we say uh, innovative group of mail users in Canada all involved with trying to keep uh, Canada Post um, aware of the needs of the industry and also to have an ongoing dialogue with them. So I think, Dennis, what you said about them earlier, about Canada Post getting involved, um, we've seen that through that national association where we sit down with them every six weeks. We have a team of high-level people at Canada Post who, who hear from us, we hear from them on things they're planning, and we work together to, to uh, you know, an industry that produces mail, working with our, our platform to deliver mail to get a great service. And I think, um, uh, you know, not... There's there's definitely differences between the USPS and Canada. It's a it, the border's right there. It's, you just have to step across it. But your postal systems uh, on one side of that border or the other can be quite different. And uh, I think Canada Post is partly uh, responsible for the fact that it's a good system, robust, pretty fast. Um, yeah, I, I would agree. Uh, you know, I think uh, as you can imagine, we've spent a lot of time working with the U.S. Postal System and. and we, we have some great folks there that, that work really hard on our behalf, uh, but I have to say that uh, the, the Canada Post team is incredibly responsive and, uh, and, and really seems very driven to modernize uh, the, 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 the whole process of direct mail marketing in Canada. And, and so, you know, we're thrilled to be working with, uh, with you, Steve, as well as uh, the Canada Post team. Well, thanks. And, you know, maybe for, for, for the interest for the people who are we're listening in, um, you know, they're going to be saying, well, what, what differences, how would that apply to me as a marketer? I think one of the uh, key points uh, is that can, the Canadian postal system is a little faster and a little more um, predictable than USPS. And uh, I'm not trying to knock USPS. It is what it is. Everyone gets used to working with their particular systems. We have a we have one tenth the population, and everyone lives very close to the U.S. border. We have uh, half the population that lives within a couple hours drive of each other of, of where our plant is in the middle of Canada, just north of Toronto. So when we have half the population living within a few hours drive, uh, it means that that mail delivery is is fast and responsive. And um, so you know the half of the population we can reach within a day or two with advertising rate mail. So the, the kind of rates that Postalytics is using, um, that's great. Two business days, 
Uh, so with uh, with two business day turnaround the Postalytics uh, it has for their uh, responses, and then another two days for Canada Post, you can kind of get four days into people's homes, which is great. Um, and and you know there's there's of course very distant places too because we're a long skinny country but most people live along the border with the U.S. and uh, you know you might experience five or seven days at the far end but I think comparing that to USPS uh, marketing mail uh, which often is 15 days uh, to the farther points in the country that I think it would roughly be fair to say we're half the the normal turnaround time uh, you know it, as I said mostly luck of the draw being a country that's like a long skinny ribbon of population and with a big core central piece uh, means marketers get their messages out more predictably you can get them out quickly and so we'll, you know i've always said that one of the most important things about a triggered mail campaign is the fact that it captures a moment in time and when that moment is closer to the trigger point of course you get more and better effect from it so i think that's a, a real positive for marketers in canada using canada post yeah, that's great, Steve. Uh, really appreciate that. And, <clears throat> you know, I think that uh, that speed and, and the concentration of population around the major metropolitan areas uh, really plays uh, in the favor of an automated system that is designed to, you know, get the right message out in a very specific time window to the right audience. Uh, and so it works really well for us. <clears throat> so, so, uh, uh, we've talked a lot about this. Well, how does it work? What is what is different? What is the same in postalytics? Uh, you know, I think the the big message is that it's really almost identical to what we've been doing here in the states for years. And, and so, uh, you know, most of the processes are identical. The workflows are almost identical. Uh, there's a few differences that are you know Canada specific uh, that. That the Canada Post team and and Steve have, have really helped us to define, uh, but you know the big message is it's almost everything is the same. Uh, we've got native printing and mailing in Canada. Uh, there's one postage class. Uh, it's called personalized mail, uh, and it's different than in the states where you've got a couple of different classes. Uh, so we're using the personalized mail product from Canada Post, and uh, and and the. The great big deal though, is that you can be anywhere in the world and you can log into Postalytics from a coffee shop, from your work, from your house, you can create a campaign and you can send it in Canada with Canadian printing using Canada Post. You don't have to go negotiate uh, additional uh, relationships with vendors. You don't have to figure out another country's postage system. It's all done for you. Yeah, and, and the other I think benefit, I think Dennis, uh, I think he hinted at it, but I believe we've designed it so that if you make uh, artwork templates for the US, you don't have to change the templates for Canada. So the sizing and everything else, the way they're laid out are the same, right? You, yep, you got it. You, so you your campaign's going to be next slide, Steve. vertical. <laughs> I'm ahead of you. <laughs> so, and then I guess the other important point uh, is that uh, we're charging our per piece fees uh, where the postage and the printing are being delivered in Canada, those are being uh, charged in Canadian dollars. So uh, as Steve said, the templates uh, and the proofing process, which are critical elements in that number one attribute of Postalytics, speed. You know, the entire process of generating the creative and approving the creative is identical between uh, the US and Canada. And so the same reusable templates, the same template library, the same editor, everything is identical. Drag and drop, create your templates, proof them using the online proofer, you know, uh, do all of your editing, do it all in minutes, and then you're ready to go. There are three postcard sizes. Uh, and and I'm, I'm using the uh, the uh, non-metric uh, measurements here because I, I haven't committed the metric measurements to memory yet, Steve. So uh, I still have to go to the, uh, uh, the, the inches, four by six, six by nine, and six by 11. And uh, we also offer a letter format uh, that is an eight and a half by 11 trifold. Uh, and it can, can include up to six sheets printed front and back. And, and that's included with the number 10 envelope. And, uh, and then finally, as I mentioned, the online proofing process, uh, 
uh, that really speeds up the entire workflow. Uh, it, it works the exact same way. We produce production level PDFs merged with live data and gives you an online approval process, uh, which saves days and weeks out of the traditional direct mail workflow. So the templates and proofing are the same, the speed of you know, getting a campaign out very, very quickly is identical. So secondly, integrations are the same. So the entire integration layer that we've built into Postalytics works the same regardless of where you are. It's all cloud-based software. You can be in Canada, you can be in the United States, you could be in Europe. It doesn't matter where you are. You can integrate Postalytics with your CRM and your marketing automation tools very easily just by clicking into our app marketplace. Uh, we've also, uh, our API and our, our webhook uh, technology that, that allows you to very easily integrate with tools that we've not built a direct integration with. All of that stuff is available and easy to use regardless of where you are. And so, and then finally, the whole tracking of what's happened after I sent our personalized QR code tools that we've uh, patented are available regardless of where you are. So you can send out postcards with QR codes uh, that are of course increasingly in use and increasingly popular. And, and when your recipients scan those QR codes that activates all the online tracking tools that we've generated and we'll report back to you in your dashboards and we'll synchronize that data back into your CRM and marketing automation tools so that you can then trigger other activities, multi-channel marketing campaigns, sales reps pick up the phone, whatever it is that you wanna do when you've got actionable data about who's responding to your direct mail, it looks and acts and feels like email, like our stated goal in the beginning. So how do you get going with this? Well, uh, when you create a Postalytics account, uh, the first thing you need to do is to go into your account profile and, and choose a default country. And, and so when you do that, it will set a default country throughout the, throughout the application. So you create an account, you choose your country, and then from that point forward, where there is a difference between the US and Canada, it will, it will default to the choice that you've made in your profile. It doesn't necessarily have to uh, be the case for every campaign you send though. So you could be in the US or you can be in Canada. And, and you know if you're a Canadian company and you're sending mail primarily to Canadians, but you wanna send a campaign, let's say just over the border to some targets or to some uh, US companies that are customers of yours, you can simply choose a US uh, within a campaign and begin the whole process. So a lot of this starts with some really important logic that we've built into our list import process. And so when you're importing a list, whether it's a list you've defined in your CRM or a list that you have put together in a file that you're bringing into Postalytics, uh, either through you know just a spreadsheet you're uploading or an FTP import or all the different ways we have to bring files into Postalytics. Uh, what the software will do is automatically detect the country of each recipient. It does that by looking at the postal or zip code as well as the province and state codes. And it will automatically split the list into US list and a Canadian list. So uh, a lot of our customers, as we said, have databases with, uh, with, with customers or prospects on both sides of the border. And so rather than having to go through and do all the separation yourself, let the software do it. Just put it all on a file, put it into Postalytics, import it right in, and the software will automatically figure out who's gotta go where and we'll go through the, the whole validation, the deduplication process. And when we find bad addresses, they're marked as invalid. And so you don't have to worry about sending to addresses that are missing you know, a province code 
or, or, or don't have a fully formed address in some fashion. Those are automatically marked as invalid. Any duplicates are automatically thrown out. So you don't have to worry about wasting your money with this smart list import technology we've developed. So once you've got your lists in place, uh, it's uh, really easy to send campaigns to uh, the Canada or the US. And so as you're setting up your campaign, uh, it will, you choose your list, it will, the system will automatically know if it's a Canadian list or a US list. And if it's a Canadian list, it will uh, automatically structure uh, and route your campaign to the right print network, either our US network or our Canadian network. And it will automatically provide the proper pricing schedule. So uh, prices are different in the US and the States. Uh, there's multiple classes of mail in the States. You don't have to worry about any of that. The software will filter it all out and give you exactly what you need to create a campaign quickly and easily. We have the same two-day uh, business day uh, print and mail service level agreement uh, up in Canada. And, and so within that two business days, we're generating 100% variable high-res PDFs. We're getting them to our Canadian print partner, Steve, where he'll be putting every single piece through an address verification scrub. And so running it through a Canada Post approved address uh, database and an NCOA process, and then doing the printing and mailing and dropping it into uh, Canada Post personalized mail product. Yeah, Dennis, the uh, NCOA catches some people because they don't know the acronym, but it means national change of address. And, and in Canada, I don't know what it's like in the States, Canada Post says about 18% of Canadians move every year. And uh, so if you've got a list that's a year old, you can expect 18% of it to potentially have moved. This NCOA database will do a good job of finding the new location where the people are living and update it for you before you mail it. That's a great point. And I think with the pandemic, uh, at least uh, it, from what I've heard anecdotally, uh, the, the amount of movement uh, by folks everywhere has dramatically increased. So it's really important that that's in place. And so finally, as a recap, uh, direct mail automation is now live in Canada. It's almost identical to the US version. And we've got native printing and mailing in Canada with our partner, Prime Data and Canada Post. Thank and you. So we've got a couple uh, minutes here for questions uh, for Steve and I. Uh, Chaz uh, is uh, manning our chat line here. Uh, so Chaz from Postal Life Steam, uh, you have any questions here for me? I have a couple here, Dennis. Uh, the first one, uh, do you have the, the metric postcard sizes on the website? Uh, yes. So uh, the question is, uh, do we have the metric postcard sizes? They are built into the application itself and on the website. And uh, uh, the next time I speak to a Canadian audience, I'll have them on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> no, even here, we don't. We still want to say four by six. It's so much easier than 19.23 times. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, that helps, Steve. I appreciate that. Yeah, I yeah, know. Uh, I, I thought I thought of something while you were talking there about like some of your customers might be asking, why would I, uh, you know, why would I think about Canada as a marketplace where I should be marketing up there uh, is maybe I've just forgotten. But, you know, I just did a quick Google search. 18% uh, of exports from the U.S. come to Canada. We're your biggest trading partner. Your next biggest one is Mexico, 13%. And even China is like a third of the size of the trade we do. If you're looking for great economic partnerships in a market, we're already here being the biggest marketplace by a huge margin anyone else in the world. So keep thinking of us as a place to do marketing. Absolutely. Uh, ne next question uh, uh, from the audience. Uh, can I send to the US and Canada from the same account? And the answer is yes. Uh, you, by, by simply choosing uh, either country from the dropdown of your, uh, in your default profile, but also in every campaign, every list you import, 
uh, you'll have the ability to uh, 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 send to either country using the exact same processes. Uh, next question. And uh, uh, so Steve, this will require, I think both you and I, do you know the average direct mail response rates in the US versus Canada? And, and so, um, you know, so we don't have a lot of data about the use of postalytics in Canada yet. Um, so Steve, I'm gonna rely on, on you uh, to, uh, to help with, with this question. Uh, so I, I don't have a, a pure answer for this. Uh, it, it so often depends on the timing of the offer, the kind of offer you're doing, the kind of audience that you're speaking to. Um, so I, I, I hesitate to, to answer. It's a, it's a great question. Everyone wants to know. But my usual answer to this is a test. You know, because uh, if you and, and there are some, of course, there's some things you can kind of gird around that. You can say, like, you're, you're not going to try and sell socks with an expensive mail campaign, you know, unless people are buying them 10 at a time. You know, because you want to have things that you're using in the mail that have decent volume to match the kinds of the costs that are associated with. But there are so many people once they test using mail and they do the uh, return on their marketing spend who find it a, an awesome way to reach out to customers. I mean, and those those range from we know people like Amazon, Uber Eats, Wayfair, Sephora, brands that you associate with a high degree of digital and let's say mark, digital marketing integration savvy, those people are all finding that the kinds of returns are, are um, reasonable, if not exceptional for the kinds of uh, marketing return on, on their marketing spend that they get. So good marketing return on investment uh, usually happens from mail when it's well planned out. Yeah, and you know, I think that uh, culturally, there's there's a lot in common between the states and the U.S. Uh, we're offering the exact same, you know, templates, the exact same capability, uh, and, and so response rate, in our experience, sounds similar, to Steve. Really boils down to the campaign itself, and and you know, uh, how strong the offer is, how good the audience is is uh, chosen, uh, is it is it great creative with easy call to action. Those things are all important in driving response. Yeah. Uh, next I, think, I think if the major concern would be like if you are already a US marketer, you're like, hey, am I going to see a big difference in the way the Canadian audience will participate? I would say not not so remarkable as uh, there wouldn't be anything that, that is remarkably different about the culture in Canada. We love our mail. We we our mailboxes are integral to our lifestyle. And uh, you know. We love offers in the mail, coupons in the mail. We love when our uh, we love when um, brands that that we like interacting with send us mail. So we love catalogs and we respond well to them. So if, if that would be one of your concerns because you didn't, weren't familiar with K Marketplace, I think you could find that you would find this, you know, an embrace, a similar embrace to that channel. Great, great. And uh, just hearing from one of our uh, U.S. customers. Uh, that uh, they're seeing uh, almost they're seeing a 100% increase in response rate uh, when there's a consistent 12 month program in place with drips that go out to the customers on an ongoing basis. So uh, you know have to assume that the, that you'll see very similar behavior uh, in the Canadian market. I think there's there's also changes going on in in how people respond to direct mail pieces. Uh, I read a piece yesterday that was um, uh, a thousand households collect their mail and, and, and the survey information from how they interact with the mail is recorded by a, a survey company. And in the last three years, they've seen uh, a doubling of the number of people that go to websites from direct mail pieces. The QR codes you mentioned earlier are part of that, but you know when people used to uh, see 1% response rate, they're getting two, plus percent response rates for people landing on websites from mail pieces. So having good uh, marketing techniques like landing pages that allow you to track where the where the um, source came from, from that QR code on the mail piece and stuff will help you do that kind of analytics, right? That's right. 
And then uh, finally, we just heard from another member of the audience, uh, some research uh, that shows that when a consumer receives a personalized mail postcard with their name and address, it elicits an 86% rate open rate. So compare that to your email marketing, where you know if you get in the 20% range, you're happy uh, in terms of an open rate. Yeah. Uh, uh, people who get mail look at their mail. Whether they decide to take action on it or not is, uh, is a separate issue, but the brand impression being created by looking at that mail, holding it in their hands, registering the name of the company that is trying to present an offer is really important. Canada Post has some amazing research uh, that I've used for uh, lots of different uh, content pieces. And uh, so if anybody's interested in seeing some of that Canada Post research, please reach out to us uh, and we can pull together uh, some great uh, neuromarketing information about what happens when people get direct mail, what happens in their brain and why that's different and in some cases more powerful than what happens when they receive um, uh, a, a digital message. Yeah, that is some good stuff that Canada Post has there. They um... And then uh, finally, uh, a question about minimum sends in Canada. Uh, so the answer is there are no minimum sends. Uh, and, and, and that's a postalytics thing because what we're doing in the back end is we're actually aggregating everybody's mail together into, uh, into batches that meet the Canada Post minimums. And so you can trigger individual pieces of mail to go out and that mail is gonna get kind of bundled up into batches that the Canada uh, print partner Prime Data, as well as Canada Post folks, will be dealing with insufficient size. So we're removing the need for marketers to worry about whether they're meeting their minimums. Uh, it's one of the real core powerful features of Postalytics. Uh, and then uh, one more question. Uh, I'm an agency. Can I use this to send on behalf of my Canadian clients? And uh, so, yeah, we actually didn't talk about the agency edition here today, uh, but all of the things that are true about, uh, about a regular Postalytics account are true with the agency edition. So you can, you can have US customers and Canadian customers all under one agency edition umbrella, and you can mail to uh, uh, recipients on either side of the border from from either a Canadian agency account or a US agency account. So uh, it's a very powerful tool for those that are marketing agencies that, that are interested in engaging and learning more about the agency edition, please reach out. Great. So we're, we're, we've run a little bit over here today. Uh, uh, thanks so much. Uh, we've. Uh, got a lot of great content on our website that explains all of this uh, that we talked about today in great detail. Uh, we'll be uh, pulling together a recording of this and emailing it out to everybody. It'll probably come next week sometime. Uh, and in the meantime, if you have any questions, please reach out to us on our website. Uh, hit us up on email. Give us a call. Uh, we're really interested in engaging with the Canadian market. So, um, uh, we're, as you can tell, we're really excited about this. Thanks, everybody. Uh, have a great holiday season, and uh, we'll look forward to sending uh, lots of mail in Canada in 2022. Thank you.